Thomas arrived at the docks excited to see the jet engine. Uh oh, it was shiny and modern and Thomas had never seen anything like it. He just couldn't wait to start his journey, but Cranky was taking his time. Hurry up, puffed Thomas, this is a special special. Cranky did not like being told what to do, especially by an engine. He became so cranky that he was careless of his hook. Here we go. His hook, not the switch. And the switch started the jet engine. And the engine began to whine. The whine got louder and 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 louder. Oh, said Cranky. Before we could say anything else, the jet engine were rocketing Thomas up the track. Oh, said Thomas. The driver tried to put on the brakes, but Thomas couldn't stop. Oh, boy. The station master called ahead. Clear the noise, it's a runaway train. Signals were changed and points are switched. Thomas had never been so excited. Thomas flew by James. And rocketed past Henry! Here we go! And raced by Bertie! They were amazed! Bertie was excited when he saw Thomas flying down the track! What a race Thomas beat Bertie! Never mind! No one had ever seen an engine go so fast! Gordon had no idea that Thomas was racing along the main line! This is your shining time too. I hope so. Come on, lady. Little engines can do big things. I am the fastest, said Gordon proudly. Hi, Gordon. Hi, Gordon. Gordon could not believe what he had seen. Here we go. Uh oh. Whoops! And there are the baddies! And there goes the money! And Bram saves the day! At last, the jet engine ran out of fuel, and Thomas is back under his own power! Mr. He steamed gently back into Navford Station.